What it is, y'all, what it is, Speaking Club Podcast in the building with your host, Mike, and I got my brother with me, Travel Gigolo. How you doing? Yeah, what up? What's, What's up, man? Yeah, man. Halloween season is upon us. She's another witch. What the fuck you want to call it? Motherfucker. <laughs> we got we did a, a top ten horror films of all time. We did Grave Digger six feet deep, you know, keeping that you know horror theme going. And uh today we're giving a full movie review of hands down my favorite horror movie of all time. I truly believe the nineteen seventy three masterpiece, which is the Exorcist, is the GOAT. You know, I think that's the greatest ever. But my favorite is Ten Chains of Masker, the original from 1974. But The Exorcist is definitely my number two. But uh, as y'all know, because y'all tuned in, we got five viewers in. That's what's up. Let me get the chat popping so I can just, you know, in the midst of reviewing it, we can talk to y'all. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, you just watched this recently, correct? Yeah, like, uh, the last night I watched it. Yeah, well, I got into this summer. movie in. Yeah, I got into the movie in two thousand and three, which is late. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, my fucking me and my ex girlfriend at the time, Natasha. Uh-huh. We had seen the original in the theaters. Right. I mean, I mean the um, oh, my bad, the remake right. in the theaters. <laughs> And uh, I loved it, man. What the fuck? This shit is sick. And in my mind, I'm always like, I wonder what the original's like. So when I was at FYE, and I used to work there, I was on break and I, I uh, went to the DVD section, the horror section, and scooped it up. Right. And I was just fucking floored how grimy and grim and psychotic this shit was, man. It just blew me away. You know what I mean? But we're getting to that. But, uh, yeah, man, 1974. Uh, Toby Hooper, the director, he directed this movie, this fucking masterpiece, in my personal opinion. Right. The movie takes place in Texas. Don't know what part of Texas, not too sure. It took place on August 18th, 1973. We get some teenagers. The cast is, we get Kurt. We get his girlfriend, Pam. We get Sally and a little brother of, I don't know, older, younger, what, uh, Franklin. Hate this nigga. <laughs> and we get uh, Jerry with the glasses and whatnot. Um, what you thought on the cast? Like, you think the cast is good? I, I love the cast personally. The, the cast was the cast was cool. I mean, I don't feel like like they had like any any of them was like a like made you care about them like that. Like except for like Sally. But yeah. Like, you know, Franklin and Jerry and Kirk and Pam, they were, like, just regular, you know, teams. Like, they didn't really have, like, any, like, personality in the front. But but Sally, you know, like, she was, like, like the only one. But, you know, she was, you know, other than that, it was, it was like a regular cast, you know? Yeah. It was, like, this was very low budget. Yeah. You know, Toby Hooper, I forgot what the budget was, but Toby Hooper didn't have, you know, like an exorcist budget or whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? Low budget, but what I love about this film is that it looks like a motherfucker is just following them mm-hmm. in, in the van with the camera. It looks like a documentary. Right. That's the scary every shit about this shit. You know, right. there's really no score, but like sound, evil sounds and shit. Mm. None really no music. You know what I mean? Right. Makes it even more eerie. Yeah, true. But hell yeah. I love how it starts off with the you know the narration of you know these teens will uh, basically all gonna die. They give that kind of feeling to it, right. you know? and uh, starts off with the the armadillo on the fucking road. Yeah, that, that shit is so grimy. So not <clears throat> Toby Hooper said that was a real armadillo too, it was, and it was rolled over. <laughs> it was real, yeah, it's real dead oh, rope. Yeah, man. Documentary and it was uh during the filming of this movie it was so fucking hot mm-hmm. that shit was hot as fuck 
and uh, get to that a little later, but they're just driving around the van. Mm-hmm. It's a road trip is a fun trip to have going to like Sally and um, Franklin's uh, grandparents' house or whatever, right. grandmother's house. And they're driving around, yeah. and uh, they happen to come across a hitchhiker. Right. Uh, that dude was crazy. Uh, <laughs> they, 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 they pick him up, and um, he's talking about how um, they have like his cattle, and right. like they shoot, they shoot him with the. Well, Franklin also can relate to that too because he said the grandparents like they shot the um, the cattle with like this gun. Right. Well, that's all they kill him, but. This camera, they, they makes them die better, you know, they, they die quicker. Yeah. Um, and uh, the teacher was talking about that, and he had, the, I guess he had these pictures of the fucking, the massacre that he um, did to the yeah. animals, and they got kind of freaked out by that, and um, he would cut himself with the <laughs> Franklin's knife. And that freaked them out. Everyone just left that motherfucker. What's your thoughts on the hitchhiker, man? I didn't, I, didn't understand that. That, I didn't understand that part. Like, they, they picked him up, and then it's like he went. It looked like he was already crazy to begin with. And then it's like he, he cut Franklin with the knife, and he smeared the blood on the on the van. I didn't understand that. I'm like, what? why did they pick him up anyway? Yeah. You know? <laughs> they, I, thought, I said, look, Leatherface should have killed his ass. Yeah, that's his brother. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, but uh Yeah, I thought it was a dope character, man. You know, I'm real creepy. Yeah. Um psychotic as a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Got blood on his face. Yeah. Already, like well, yeah, I, I agree to why the fuck they picked this nigga up anyway, you yeah. know what I mean? I, I, I love the cin- cinematography when the teens are in the back of the van and he's in the front, how they did right. that shit. Right, right. I, that shit was dope. Yeah. But it was dope. And uh, they go to this gas station where this guy's serving barbecue, mm-hmm. um, who happens to be their brother. We'll get into that later, you know. I, I want to say so. I want to say something about but, the um. That was that was Jerry picking up the barbecue, right? Jerry went inside. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and when he came out, he had like a like a little sm- a small brown bag of. I'm like, what? What kind of barbecue food is in that? It's like a small uh, brown bag. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what is that ribs or something? Yeah, probably. Who knows? Yeah, <laughs> yeah they went in there. I guess talking about how they want to go find the uh, the grandfather's house or whatever. He said, "Oh no, stay away from there because you know some folks don't like you going through their stuff and right. they get mad that like you gave them a warning or whatever." And just to see that drunk dude on the ground just rambling about shit, that shit was dope, man. I'm like, yeah. that's some weird shit, man. I like that shit. And then, uh, you know, they get the food or whatever, and they, they right. go leave. And, uh, Franklin just can't get that off his mind. This fucking hitchhiking nigga just <laughs> slicing him and fucking scaring the yeah. shit out of him. Like, yeah, I just find this character extremely annoying. Yeah, he was. He like, was. Oh, kill this nigga. He, He's such a faggot. He was. <laughs> uh, uh, and I love that movie. I love it. I think it. I still can't see the movie without him. Right. Like, he's not annoying like Bruce Willis's girlfriend from Pulp Fiction annoying. Right. But, but he was, he's, de- he's he definitely was a, annoying. He was annoying in, 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 a, in, 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 like, he was annoying because, like, if, if they had to get, if they, if they were in trouble and they had to get away, they had to, like, carry it, like, like, move, like, stroll his ass along in the wheelchair with him. Oh, yeah. And I forgot you know to mention, when we started. Mm-hmm. He took a he was gonna go piss in a coffee can or something. This nigga falls right on the fucking hill. Yeah. <laughs> and the actor, shout out to the actor that played him. I forgot that the actor's name. Mm-hmm. But in the documentary, like they wouldn't pay him more. I guess he was getting paid less for some reason. Mm-hmm. And he demanded to get paid just as much as the other actors. And I think he has the right to. He's a big part of the movie. And they gave him a bigger check, and he's like, "You can go find some other fat ass to roll down the hill because I ain't doing it." You right. know what I mean? And they they paid him, so so that was dope. I, I have the yeah. I have the 2005 Steelbook edition. Oh, okay. And they have a great documentary on that shit in the second disc. That's how I found all that shit out. But um, That's what's up. yeah, man. I, you know, after that, it goes to the the um the 
place, the, the grandparents' house or whatever, dirty, right. dingy shit. Um, what, a scene that cracks me up is when uh, Jerry's like, no, she's like, do you like the wallpaper? I was fascinated with zebras, and he's like, I think it's seen better days. I don't know that it's cracking the fuck up. <laughs> fuck up. Uh, healthy, man. Right. You know what I mean? And then Franklin, I, that's when he gets really annoying. Right. Oh, he's like, it's going to be a fun trip. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is annoying. Yeah. Father Kirk about the fucking, um, uh, what's his name? The hitchhiker nigga? And this is, oh, it's annoying as fuck, but right. I thought that was, uh, yeah, Franklin is annoying. But but the um that, that the grandparents house that was that was Sally's grandparents house. Sally and Franklin, yeah, that's that because they, they're they, brothers. Um, I mean, like 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 when if if you've never been to like like I'm sure like like if like Jerry and 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 Kim and Pam like as, like they, like them being her friends like going to her grandparents house the first time and you look at that house that house looks spooky as shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like just the way that they had to get going from the bottom of the house. I'm like, what the fuck? There was like broken glass and shit. Yeah, man, this is crazy. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Is that uh, let's go. You know, I guess Kirk and Pam wanted to go swimming or some shit like that. Right. And Franklin tells them it's like behind those two sheds over there, something like that. He told yeah. them, and then they go down there and they don't find no fucking pool or whatever the fuck. Well, a river, something, water, they can't, they can't find none of that shit. So yeah. they end up going to this house. Well, Kurt goes, you know, in this house. And uh, right. this is when we're created by our main antagonist, uh, the fucking killer known as Leatherface, who mm-hmm. basically wears other people's faces as masks and shit. Right. Um, my favorite horror character of all time, easily. A lot of people say Fred, Jason, Michael Myers. Nah, this nigga's mine. Um, he is like he's, he's retarded and he's fucking he's crazy, man. I, I love it. This scene is fucking dope. Right. So it goes inside there and see all the roadkill like on the wall and shit. Right. Um, door opens. She's greeted by Leatherface. Right. By Gunner Hanson. R. R. I. P. To Gunner Hanson. Um, just cracks him inside the fucking head with a fucking mallet, or right. whatever the fuck hammer, some shit, sledgehammer, yeah, small little sledgehammer, and just body goes in convulsion, smashes him again, and when he shuts that door, yeah, creepy shit. That shit's so fucking well, he, dope. And, and remember, like before he went in the house, like him and he took him and Pam like around, like uh, the other way of the house, and they had they found you saw like the they found like the um abandoned cars and all that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And and then they um he 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 went in the house and he kept asking like kept saying hello hello nobody was answering him so I should have told him like yo maybe nobody's home let's leave but no he wanted to go in there being nosy then when he gets when he gets to the um that that little room and he saw like all the um the animal heads and shit and he goes walking like like towards the um in the hallway towards the door and then that's when another face comes out and hit and hits him crack. You know what I mean? And then, and then, like he he hits him again. It's like, oh, he's dead. You see the blood gushing everywhere, and then he just slams the the metal door. And then show was fire when he slams yeah. the door. I love that. Shit. That was and he crazy. Takes, you find a fucking tooth, my nigga. You should be bouncing. Exactly. He gave it to Pam. Freaked her out. She's calling this nigga name, Kirk. 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 She gets. She gets in there. Right. And this bitch falls on the on the, all that roadkill and shit. Yeah. They yo during the filming of this this movie, they said. It oh. smelled like shit in there, like little feces, oh, wow. garbage. In the house? In the house, yeah. Wow. Because it was like really, I think it was using like real roadkill. Oh, shit. Some like props and stuff. Some of that shit was real. It's in the documentary. Cool. Yeah, Toby Hooper talked about it. Right. And, um, Just the amount of that mixed with the heat. Oh, mm. yo, I can imagine. That's why, they, that's why they were saying it smells, it smells like shit in there. Yeah, it was oh, fucking God. tough. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then uh, she gets greeted with fucking Leatherface hanging that bitch on the meat hook. Right. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, shit. But when, when, when Kirk, when Kirk, um, when he, when he first saw Leatherface, did, did he slip and then, and then Leatherface hit him or he, he was just startled by Leatherface and then Leatherface hit him? He might have slipped on something. I can't really remember. It I watched like, the damn thing last like, night. It looked like he slipped and like he didn't expect to see nobody there. 
And then when he saw Leatherface come out, like he, it looked like he slipped, and then that's when Leatherface hit him. Yep, bashed his fucking head in. <laughs> Close the door. <laughs> yeah. Then after that, we get we get Franklin and Sally just trying to find. No, no, Jerry's with them. My bad. Yeah, uh, Jerry's just teasing fucking Franklin about the hitchhiker. Like, yeah. He's gonna kill you, Franklin. He's gonna kill you. Sure, so that's what's funny as hell. Then he's bitching about his fucking knife and so I was like, I thought I I thought I gave it back to you. He's like, No, I can't find it and right. all this bullshit and then uh Jerry goes wandering somewhere too, you know what I mean? He goes wandering somewhere. Yeah. And he that <laughs> this is uh, I die and laugh. I it never just she's just amazing how hard I laugh when to see this shit. <laughs> he goes <laughs> and he opens up some fucking box and Pam right. comes off that shit, you know, half dead and shit, and then uh, yeah. he started off a leather face. He screams like a bitch. That shit was hilarious. <laughs> ah! Fucking just get bashed with the hammer. That shit was funny. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I was, I, when, I, when I saw that part, I was like, yo, is is Pam is Pam dead or is she like like was he was he just like saving her to kill her later in the freezer? Yeah, probably. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. But she, yeah. but she looked like she was half dead, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I said. That was crazy. <laughs> and then... <laughs> that's funny. And then they're calling for Jerry, you know, Sally and um Franklin. Calling for Jerry, calling for Jerry. You don't hear this, nigga. So, uh... Looking for the keys. Oh, no, they, they, they took the keys, and Franklin just freaking the fuck out. And so I was like, I'll go get it. You know, I, I go try to find him. Like, no, I'm going with you. Right. And they're arguing about that. And Franklin takes the flashlight and she strolls him. He's bitching about her not strolling a wheelchair right. I'm like, yeah. someone killed this nigga already. I'm like, oh my God. Kill him already. Oh, what he's I've seen the movie a thousand times. I'm just like, oh, Franklin, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> There's an, at nighttime, I love how it's like that dark blue. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, I love that nighttime look to the movie. And they run into Leatherface, and this nigga just puts the chainsaw. The first appearance of the chainsaw, man. Yep. Puts the chainsaw right to Franklin. Boom. That's Murders it. a nigga right there. You know, on the yes. <laughs> uh, Sally freaked out. She running. One of the illest chase scenes in the movie. Yeah, I agree. I'm, I'm in, like, horror history. Yep. We're chasing that bitch to the wood. I fucking love that. It's quite... Long, you get you get a dope, you know, filter that shit. Right. Um, she hides in the house and she ends up jumping out the fucking window to get away. Right. And he catches back up with her. <laughs> she goes hiding that uh barbecue place where that you know the mini mart. It's like a mini mart or something. Yeah, the mini mart joint. The cook. Yeah. They call him the cook. Right. The cook is there. The guy that gave him the barbecue earlier, and um, he seems like you know he's, he's calming her down and stuff like that. Right. And uh he goes leaves and this nigga comes out with like a potato sack and a fucking ties and shit. Right. He's like, Oh fuck, this nigga you know, she's like, uh, no, don't please and he's like, It's not gonna hurt and he uh knocks her ass out with that fucking broom. Yeah. He he was fucking up with that broom. I'm like, how did she get so bloody from a broomstick though? Yeah, he was the ass with that fucking broom. <laughs> <laughs> like this bitch is like she's weak as hell, like fuck this nigga up. <laughs> <laughs> this is for your life when you you like letting an old man beat your ass with a broomstick. Yep. Crazy. That's funny, man. Yeah. And that uh, you know, he drives it to that to the place. Um, he's stabbing her on the fucking side or whatever the hell yeah. with that damn broomstick he's driving. That's some uh creepy shit. It's really you know. Yeah. It's um evil shit to be doing it to somebody like that. Hell yeah. <laughs> I wanted to do it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. And then they, they get to the place and uh what you call it there? They, they see the hitchhiker there, you know what I mean? Which right. is their old brothers, Leatherface, mm-hmm. the cook, and the hitchhiker, all the three brothers. Right. And uh he's just yelling at him about wandering off for some shit, you know, right. so it's whooping his ass. <laughs> you know. And uh she Leatherface, he got some like fucking it's called the grandma mask or some shit like right. that in the whole right, community. Right. Probably he's rocking that shit and just yeah. he's getting yelled at too, you know what I mean? And um, yeah. they end up tying her up, putting like some fucking cloth in her mouth. She's right. at the dinner table. 
And did they get grandpa down? That's <laughs> who was, that scene was who, disgusting, yo. Oh, that was crazy. Really unsettling, man. I love that shit. Like when uh, when, when Le- Leatherface like cuts her finger and then the, the grandpa like sucks the blood from her finger. Yeah, when you're sucking the blood. Yeah, his face is all wrinkled and I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, this nigga half this nigga dead soon, half dead. And uh he's played by a young actor, man, a really young actor. He was the youngest dude in the movie. I think he was like a teenager. He just put the uh, face paint, the, um, not the face paint, but the um, the makeup on him and stuff like that. I know. That. You, you could buy that mask on Trick or Treat Studios. Word. Oh, that grandpa mask, yeah, because the they sell the, mask. Yeah, they sell that. They sell the leather face mask, all that shit. Uh, oh. And uh, you know, say grandpa's the best too. He, he was one of the best killers before he got old as fuck. So oh. bring her over there, and you know. He can barely do it. Leatherface is making him do it. Right. You know, bashing a fucking head in with the damn uh, sledge. Yeah. You know what I mean? That shit was crazy. That was a really unsettling scene. She, she should have been dead at that point. Word. <laughs> back. <laughs> like, a regular human doesn't get back up from that. For real, man. But it, it's a 70, 74. You know, you got to right. take it take it away what it is, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's what I do anyway. But, uh... You know, second time she jumped out the window, mm. jumped right the fuck out that window after that happened. And uh, yeah. another face rocking that fucking that this movie didn't fucking hold back. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't like do the jump scare, you know, cliche bullshit or scare you a little bit. No, this movie was coming out with fucking chainsaws and fucking clown paint and on the mask. And, just yeah. real grimy shit. Yeah, love it to death. You know, was it was like for seventy four man for a time because mm-hmm. probably with the actress, which is the goat, like I said. Yeah. So I I, I get people I can picture people leaving the, the um theater watching this shit too. <laughs> you know what I mean, definitely. And uh, he's rocking that like that 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 mask, the, the pretty face mask that they call it in the horror yeah. community, and he's chasing them, man. Chasing them. That was disturbing. Yeah, like that. That scene, like, like in, like, like the early morning, and the sun's oh, yeah. coming out, and you, you see him running with the chainsaw, and after, like, that was, that was really disturbing. I like that real, like, uh, early, early hours of the morning. Yeah. Shit. Because yeah. that it must have been like what three in the morning when they got him at the crib. Right. So I had to put have it there for two hours, and I was like five a.m. probably. Yeah. Who knows? And uh, that was dope. I love that. And that was really at that time, too. Yeah. But Toby Hooper wanted to get the actual, you know, sunlight. daytime. Yeah, the sunlight yeah. correct and all that. So he filmed it at that ex- same exact time. Right. And um, it was it was just incredible, man, the way they, they did that shit. That shit was incredible. I love that. I, I like how you brought that up. Yeah. That's dope, man. And then, uh, you know, fortunately, the fucking hitchhiker get run over. Mm. By some truck, some some dude in the truck, chubby right. nigga in the truck, and uh, seeing him run is just fucking. <laughs> seeing that nigga run is hilarious. The, the, yo, the, the part where it, where she like ran up to the the um the, the the truck driver, and then he came out, and then he saw Leatherface come around with the chainsaw, and then he fucking ran and shit. That shit was yeah. hilarious. I was dying. Yeah. Not face the fucking wrench or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Uh, falls and he cuts his fucking leg with the chainsaw. Oh shit! <laughs> you know, really? and then, uh, Sally gets away, man. Yeah, Sally gets away, hops in the back of the truck and laughs hysterically right. all over her. And fire, right? Then, then you, you see, then, then you see Leatherface like you just like whirling the chainsaw around and disgusted. Yeah. He was mad that he didn't get Sally. I that thought was that, was, that was great. That was great. He was like, it was like a, a moment for Leatherface. Like he was pissed off, but it was like that. That basically defines the whole movie. Yes, and you you see, um, you know what I mean. You see that shit everywhere. Like yeah. that that image of him doing that shit is on like the movie poster. Right. That's you know, t shirts and and all kind of merchandise. They have that scenery yeah. with him doing that shit and uh. I love that shit. It's so dope how they ended that shit. And Definitely. Her laugh. She said the actress that played Sally, she was like laughing for real. She was happy. Right. 
Because that's the last scene they did. Oh, shit. And they said that shit was absolutely fucking grueling. Yeah. She was happy when that shit, that shit ended. So that's right. real. Laughing and then they finally <laughs> done. And yeah. uh, then they said they fucking stunk. Wow. Gus Hansen said he, he ain't gonna lie. He said he probably smelled the worst. <laughs> you know, wearing, wearing all that 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 suit and this, I'm talking. This is the Texas motherfucking heat. Yeah. This ain't no movie like fucking where they it's based in a certain uh, state and it's filmed somewhere else. Right. Like it's supposed to be Texas or mask and it's filmed in fucking Omaha or some shit. Right. No, this is that motherfucking Texas heat, nigga. It's that you know yeah. sticky, hot, disgusting shit. Wow. You know what I mean? And it, yeah, I love how it ended. That shit was fantastic. Right. You know? Great movie. Hell yeah. Overall, and in a whole, as a whole, yeah. I give it a, a fucking five out of five. It's, it's a perfect film. Yeah. I thought it was definitely, I thought it was a, this is, I, I like this one more than the remake, and I went to see the remake. So did I. I the remake too, and I, I love this movie. Of course, my favorite. This is more disturbing. Like, the, the images of you know, like like how Leatherface killed off each one, and you know, running after Sally in that in that Texas heat in the morning, and they, it, that one was it was real, like more creepy and disturbing than than the other one to me. Yeah. You know? Yeah, definitely, there, especially for that time for '74. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely a, a great film. You had, you know. You had a lot of movies out there making noise, like you know, yeah. the last house on the left and uh, yeah. the Exorcist. You know, they came around around the same time and just real pillars of horror. Yeah, real important pillars of horror. Man. I w I wish they would have put more like character development in like you know Kirk and Pam and and Jerry. You know, but um. It was it was good. I mean, it's like you just want to. There's some people that just like they slash your films and they, they just want to get straight to the point. Yeah, you know, and, and that was that was good. But I, I wish they would have like just included a little bit more like development for the characters. But good film though. And what else is horrifying to me is when they got Sally, you know, tied up in the chair, and uh, the hitchhiker says, "Don't you like his face?" Right. And Leatherface looks at her with that fucking pretty fit, pretty woman mask on, as they call it in the horror community. I thought that she was very creepy. Yeah, I love that that angle that where the dinner table is at. That shit is fucking grimy. Yeah, I had it as my yeah. wallpaper in my uh, computer for a while. <laughs> shit is fucking it was, dope. It was disgusting. Like like what? Like it looked like they were eating like human parts and shit on their plate. Oh yeah, some. I was like, damn. <laughs> fucking sausage links it look yeah, like don't, don't eat it, don't eat when you're watching this film bro. I never did that yeah. and I'm not planning on doing so because all oh, the <laughs> animals uh, I can't look at that shit it's disgusting yeah ugh you yeah. know but yeah this, man it's a phenomenal movie for me yeah this was good R.I.P. Toby Hooper yeah R.I.P. Gunnar Hansen R.I.P. the dude that played Franklin R.I.P. to the cook. <laughs> <laughs> the whole cast is fucking dead. Might might yeah. be. I'm not. But yeah, R.I.P. to um those uh actors and directors that I just named because uh this is my favorite horror movie of all time. Uh, just the way, it's, like I said, mm. it's like someone had a fucking camera, right? Filming that shit while yeah. it, it was all going down. Right, right. That is incredible to me how they did that. Right. You know, absolute masterpiece of a film. Yeah. Love it. Five out of five. Oh. They don't make them like this anymore, man. I'm not into that paranormal bullshit. Yeah, me neither. I don't like that. Demon Possession? Yes. Well, yes. One movie, The Exorcist. For me, yeah. anyway. Yes. Uh, But this is that slasher shit, raw shit. Is that so many violent, like, bloody scenes in here either. You just kept it Bang. simple. I want your mind to do the thinking. Oh, shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which, Toby Hooper is a goat for that. And I just adored it. Movie, there's nothing else to really say about it. I, I, just, I just feel like, yo, like, like when you watch this film, you, there's, there's do's and don'ts when you watch the film. Like, like don't go into a, a house that you don't know. You don't know Bang. who's there. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. And just like like just stupid shit that the team the teams did. I was like, why are you going in there, Kirk? You're gonna get killed. You know what I'm saying? Like if you go to a stranger house and there's nobody there, then leave. You know? Facts. <laughs> It was, it was just just dumb shit that they were doing, man. You know, but yeah, this this was a great film, like definitely. The first time I saw it, I liked it. Yeah, I fucking love it, man. I enjoyed watching it again. Yeah. Last night, what a wee hours in the morning, I watched it because I, you know, haven't seen that in a while, and it never gets older. I have the steel book version. I right. popped it in my computer, gave it a watch. Oh, I'm fucking. Love. I would have put it in my PS4, but. I got the Exodus in there now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch that. And I just got the Blu-ray of that shit. True. I'm happy for that to have that. Um, Swiss asked us, "The do we like the Purge?" Yes, I like. <laughs> um, I like I like the Purge films. I uh, I don't like as far as like like my favorite one. I probably would say maybe like uh part part one with uh Ethan Hawke because it felt. More like a home invasion type of film, and then an actual like 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 purge or whatever. The other ones, the other ones were different, you know. Like even the one with Frank Grillo was different, but the, um, the last one was different. It was more hood, it was like more like a like the purge came to the hood type of thing, like the prequel. You know that was that was decent, but um yeah, the first one to be me was my favorite. I'm not like a a huge fan of the purge. I, I don't know how many more they can keep doing. I never seen this shit. I never yeah. seen it, man. But it's not it's not bad at all. I just don't know. I don't know. Like they have the TV show, so I haven't watched the TV show. But you know, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how many how many more they can keep doing like that. But I mean it, it was it was okay. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather watch that than watch like paranormal activities though. Oh god, I never seen it. I don't want to see it. Yeah. I tried watching one of them. I didn't like it at all. It, it just looked staged. Everything looked looked fake. Were yeah. yeah, I don't give a fuck about that shit to keep it a buck. Yeah. And it, the thing, and the thing with these films, like, like when 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 you have like the first Exorcist and the first Texas Chainsaw Massacre and movies like that, like they they there's so many movies after them that they try to like m- like mimic what they do, and it's like how many demon possession for like any any demon possession film you see. You're gonna always relate back to the Exorcist. You know what I'm saying? Or any slasher film you see, you're gonna always relate back to Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And I've seen some of them shits in my early 20s, man. Yeah. Like the Exorcism of Emily Rose and all that. Yeah, that I didn't did like nothing. those. Yeah. That did nothing for me. Like, yeah. suck a drag me to hell. All, all that shit is garbage. See, I, I, like, I like Drag Me to Hell, though. Drag Me to Hell was different. Skeleton Key, you know, I'm not into that shit, man. Yeah. I like I like Drag Me to Hell. Drag Me to Hell was different because it was more like like the girl like she got a curse put on her. So like like evil shit started happening until after the old lady put the curse on her. But like the yeah like Emily Rose and I seen so many other possession films like that. I'm like it's not it's not the same. Like they it's not gonna be better than The Exorcist. You know it, 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 even when like when they do like these shark movies now that everybody tries to beat Jaws, you're never gonna beat Jaws. No. You know what I'm saying? Because Jaws was like, it was, it was, you know what you was getting with Jaws, and it was a story within that. You know what I'm saying? Now it's like they do all these these shark films, and they want to add like little bank heists to the shark films and shit. I'm like, you're never gonna beat Jaws. Either it's it was my girlfriend at the time, was name was Tasha, or my cousin trying to get me to watch that early 2000s type of movies, right. the horrors, and I, I just didn't fuck with it at all, my nigga. Yeah. You know what I mean? And when my, my girlfriend would show me that shit, like the exorcism of Emily Rose or whatever, Man. I just start kissing on that neck and tell me tell to suck my cock because I ain't <laughs> watching this shit. You know what I mean? That's what I did. Oh, that shit, shit was fucking terrible. That's what I did. It was yeah. fucking terrible, my nigga. Yeah. I remember, what's that movie you watched at the theater? Coach Carter or whatever the fuck? <laughs> I remember watch that shit then watch Coach it. Coach Carter. Terrible. <laughs> terrible. Uh. terrible. Horror flicks, my nigga. Yeah. They was trash. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an old school nigga when it comes to my horror. Yeah. I mean, they, I mean, they, there's not uh, there's there's certain like new new horror films that that I like, but I don't know if I would call them classic in ten years. 
You know. Well, your brother, let me borrow this. Mm. I'm gonna well, I, get, I hate being on the tablet. I never. It's like so low to the fucking. Yeah. Oh, shit. the Conjuring. Love that. Love that film. I'm gonna watch that. Yes. After I'm done watching. I love all of them, one and two, and I love the the spinoffs like the um and the nun and and while it, and the brothers. I like the second end of them more than um the first one. Yeah. Yes. The big fucking package. Wow. It comes with a book. It comes with like fucking three Blu-rays. Damn. I gotta get yeah. that. Yo. I wanna yeah. Put... Yeah. Barely see it's so fucking weird. Like, the hold it. I hold it all the way back. Yeah. I, I can't do it. <laughs> it's all good. I, I, fucking arm hurts. Yeah. But uh yeah, man, yeah. The con- I'm going to watch The Conjuring when I get a chance. i never seen this shit, so. Yeah, The, the Conjuring, it, it, it deals with possession, too, but they didn't do it in an exorcist type of way. Like, it was it was more about the, the couple, you know, um, the ghost hunter couple going to, like, the Amityville house and and, and, <laughs> and solving their, you know, the situation and then, like, the other cases that they had. So these are, like, some of the stories with, with the couple and the other cases, but it wasn't. You know, they they all like people possessed, but it wasn't like exorcist type of thing. I gotta watch that. Yeah, that was good. I, I, both of them were good, but I think for the next one, and I, I know they're gonna do another one because they all made money. I think for the Conjuring, so, three, I think for the Conjuring three, they're gonna they're gonna like at some point. I want to see if they're gonna add um both Annabelle and the Nun in the same film because they haven't been in the same film together. Yeah, like Annabelle was in part one of the Conjuring. <laughs> And then she had her spin off, and then the nun was in the conjuring too, and then she had her spin off, but they haven't been in the same in the movie together. I wonder if that's just gonna win me over. Yeah, I don't know. I, I love that. I you know, every few years there's been a movie, that movie that comes along that really scares you, like like the ring for me. I I love that one. Um the first one with uh, Naomi Watts. And um, Insidious, I like that one. And um, hate that. you hate Insidious? <laughs> mm-hmm. I thought it was great. The city and the Conjuring, and you yeah, did. It's like every every couple years that 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 one horror film comes along. That you know, that's that's real, uh, you know, bone chilling or whatever you want to say. I like the serial killer shit. Yeah, that's my favorite type of horror. Right, right. And the Exorcist, is, you know, that's a demon possession film, but yeah, it's it's the it's the goat in my yeah. it's the goat in my personal opinion. Definitely. I really truly believe that. Definitely. As as, as a grown fucking man, uh-huh. as a thirty two year old man, I find yeah. that shit fucking scary. It is definitely. You know, every time I watch it, I, I get scared by watching it. Want to watch that shit tonight? Am on the the on the PS four? Yeah. Blu ray. Like, like when you when you still get those old feelings from watching a film, that it's a it's a timeless film, man. Hell yeah, you know. And 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 Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original one, I definitely could see myself watching that over and over, and and, and still getting that that creepy feeling of 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 seeing Leatherface chase Sally in, in the um early morning hours. The movie is a masterpiece. Yeah. It doesn't focus on talking, talking, talking like those right. fucking demon possession films do not. Yeah. The goat I'm talking about, those other ones that came after, just right. talking, walking around, talking. To, it's right to the fucking points. Yeah. It's amazing. It, it's just, it's incredible. I love that shit. It, it's sharp and it's sweet. Yeah. Fucking, it gets like an hour and some, you know, 20 minutes and change. Right. Um, I love it, man. I can't say nothing else about it. It's just fucking yeah. Cinematic fucking masterpiece, man. Definitely. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Better fucking shave. <laughs> and it's hot as fuck today, too, my nigga. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. It's I'm October. Sm- like three degrees and shit. Oh, yeah. On the way to go pick up my uncle, right? Oh. I had my ox cord in and I had my iPod in there and uh yeah. I was playing that fucking beloved. Yeah. That Dave East and Styles Pete, that shit is just crack rocks. Right, I gotta check I'm, that. Yeah, Dave East's been letting me down lately, but uh 
this shit is bananas. Yeah. And his punchlines in here are retarded. Wow. I'm retarded. Okay. The beast was like, uh, what did he say? I'll kill you for your Yeezys. They didn't have Kanye read the eulogy. Oh, shit. Because <laughs> it's just riddled with bars like that. You know what yeah. I mean? It, it's he, great. He got it in him, though. I know he, I know Dave Reese is talented. It's just that I just didn't like the, the trappy production he had, you know? South Pink got a little rhyme on that, too. So, yeah. you know, lucky we didn't get that. Yeah, yeah I was bumping that. Uh... And what did you hear the Ala Zuli Lu album yet? Yes, I I heard like I I gotta like I wanna like I, every um I wanna like like uh, hear it again, but like the songs are, are it definitely is a horrorcore you know album and it has that horrorcore feel like from back in the day. You hear the Axis Family song? Yes. That you was hear the- when uh on the chorus they say hit them with the sledge they die better that way. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's what took me to a massacre, man. You know what I mean? When yeah, the, yeah. he said that, that just gave me that feel. Right. Definitely. You know? Billy Obey is my favorite. Uh huh. But Lee Carver, the dude with the real grimy voice. Right. Like, that nigga's ill. My favorite track yeah. in there is Skin. Yeah. Skin. That was a dope dream. That blood on my hands, blood on my glasses, fire. Yeah. Then, uh, uh, what is it? Lost Cause or Committing right. Suicide and all that. That shit is. Oh my god, son! Fucking Dude, love they, this have, album. Have they have they done like live shows and stuff? They're on tour right now. Oh, okay. Once they get up tour, because I got their personal pages, they be Joe right. Joe Black and Lee Kava watched that video. So okay, I'm gonna ask them when I come on the show. But I have you on that video call, because so I'm yeah. ready to talk to them. Niggas, so. yeah, no I doubt. think I, I don't think they'll turn it down. They seem like really cool fucking dudes. Who knows? But right. they seem cool as fuck. I can and, imagine uh, how the live shows are like when they performing those songs, like the type of like pyros and stuff like the you know that they yeah, have on they, stage. They are they are dope live. I never seen them, but I seen like footage on YouTube and shit. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. They they signed to the same label as Gmo. They're all a family over there, Magic Ninja. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Glad you like that album, man. Because a lot of niggas yeah. be like close minded about shit like that. You know what right. I mean? But it's it's horrorcore. It's like you know the, you know it's gonna be like some real evil type of shit, and you gonna get some yeah. boom bap with it too. Yeah, the boom bap uh, beats on like skin and lost cause, yeah. and then uh blasphemous with the flatliners. Oh my nah. god, I love that show. I didn't even know the flatliners were still around. Yeah, man. That's Red dope. rum and grape thing, I think. Yeah. Um, glad you like that. Out. Wasn't um Dreddy Kruger a part of them too? To be honest, I've been listening to Flatliners for years. I don't even know. Okay. I thought he was at one point. Aaron Henry, what's good? I never heard of you before. What's good? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Swiss said, beloved is dumb hard. Hell yeah, my nigga. Yeah. And Swiss also said, father, I confess I got blood on my Sunday's vest. Yeah. Lee Carver said that shit. Crazy. Yeah, Swiss fucks with that axe too, man. Right. That's what's up. The axe is fire, son. That album cover is sick too. Yeah, all I that love shit. It. Like with the three heads. Did, did you see the slipcase? No, nah, I didn't see it. Oh, hold on. One second. I hate this damn tablet. <laughs> but I can't see much. So I gotta like move it. There we go. You take off the slipcase. Yeah. It's too dark. You're not going to be able to see it, but you get something yeah, like yeah. that. That's dope. Yeah. And, and it's like, a fuck. like some, possessed, some possessed, like, evil clowns or something. Yeah. yeah. And when you fucking... If, if you get lucky enough, you can get the uh, alternate cover, and it got them with, like, horns and, like, sharp teeth and shit. It's fire. Oh. That's what's yeah. so- Yo. Love that group, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, they got this, some mixtapes before that that are absolute fucking crack rocks, too. Yeah. That's, that's what's up. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you like that, man. man that makes me yeah. fucking happy. Definitely. Definitely. Same thing with Swizz. I'm glad, I'm glad Swizz digs them niggas, too, man. Yeah. 
You know, that's what we do on here. You just put niggas on like new music and stuff. Hell yeah. Like stained stained glass. Uh-huh. That shit is fire too. Yeah. Definitely, man. I, I gotta go with skin. My nigga Matt, I got I got my nigga Matt into them too. Uh-huh. My nigga Matt from Australia, he loves them too. He said uh the skin is his favorite too. Yeah. My uncle's a big fan of them. So like I'm a big horror call guy, you know what I mean? Sure. So that been a lot since the like, Lynch was the last one to do it big like that. Mm-hmm. Like Brother Lynch hung with the, the, the three um concept records on Strange Music got fucking fired. Yeah. Then they were in the movie Coin and Strangler and um Men of Electra. Those are amazing. But since then, there hasn't been no one out here. But yeah, doing he, it. He, he acts, man. Like Jesus fucking Christ, my nigga. Like <laughs> that album blew me away. I couldn't I can't get enough of that album. I cannot get a fuck enough. Yeah. That's that's literally the Definitely. Can't get enough. You know. I'll, I'll be back, Try. Can you hold it yeah. down in there? All right. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna make something for dinner or something. See what the fuck's right. going on. I'll be I, I won't take one. All right. What up, Michael C, Swizz, Brandon, Aaron, everybody up in here. I gotta, I gotta listen to that um, Dave East and Styles P J. You know, but I'm not surprised though. Dave, Dave East got talent. He's, he's a talented MC. It's just that I just didn't like the production behind his, his, his bars. But I'm glad that you know that everybody likes the new project. I gotta definitely check it out. You know. I've been I've been bumping that Danielson um joint. That shit is hot. I'm back. Yeah, I was saying I I, I was bumping the Danielson um joint. I love the production on there. That remote gaggy. Yeah, and it, it got like a, it got like a like a real mafia Italian type of feel to the to the um. Yeah, album. he's Italian. Yeah. Oh okay okay. That yeah, shit was a little Ito. That, that Corona yeah, shit. Yeah, with little Ito. Oh man, that yeah. sample on there is crazy. No more. That's it. Yeah. Whatever the fuck. That's like a little old crack. lady they sampling and shit, yo. That shit is stupid. I love that shit. Like every every track on there, I love that man. It's, it's, I never heard of this guy before. Yeah, I heard of him because of Crime Apple. He was just on yeah. the Crime Apple, and then shout out to my nigga Money Miz. She told me about uh, Sniper for Soze. Right. She's always liking my shit in comments, and both of them niggas actually. Right. Um, is are you, is he signed? Then I signed no. Oh, okay. Wow. I'm waiting for Danielson to work with Griselda. That that would be fucking yeah, immaculate. Yeah, yeah. He he would fit in with them, definitely. I gotta send you the Future Wave project. Uh okay. It's Daniel's son and Future Wave, a producer named Future Wave, and they did an album called mm-hmm. Pressure Cooker. Okay. Oh my god. The more heat. Yes. I'll send that when I get off here, man. Yeah, we gotta hear that. Yeah, man. Uh Swiss asked do, do we like C five, Card of Fives? I got to hear it. I didn't hear it. Yo, I'm, I'm missing the track, though. I think it's track... Uh, What track it was I said I was missing? I I, I sent that to you, bro. You sent it to me? I got to check. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I got to check that. Yeah. But yeah, I got to hear the Carter Five. I didn't... I, didn't, I don't know. I'm, I'm hearing, like, mixed reviews for that because it's number one on the Billboard charts. It, it's far too fucking long. Even for a double disc, it's far too long. There's yeah. some standouts on there, but I, I was... And then and then it's like he did that weird interview with Odell Beckham on ESPN. And then like the like, to be honest he was with talking you. shit. He was talking shit to um to one of the ESPN guys because like like one of the guys on um on uh, that show uh, I think it's around the horn or something. He was he was saying like like why is Weezy like sitting next to Odell? He ain't saying shit or whatever. And and like Weezy was like like talking shit about like why he worried about him and he should mind his business and he'll fuck him up and all this other shit. Oh shit! Yeah, he was like he was like keep my name out your mouth and shit like that. I didn't see that shit. Yeah, so I was like I didn't understand it all. I'm like, why you, is he sitting in an interview with a football player? You don't play in the NFL, so why are you even there? Why? <laughs> you know, he's like a psychic or something. Man, who the fuck knows, man? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it's number one on the charts. But I, I haven't um, 
I haven't heard it. I, I, I'm, I'm hearing like mixed reviews. Like some people like it, some people don't like it. You know. I'm, I'm gonna uh, so is it? Are there any dope albums dropping the twelfth? I'm, I'm not sure about that, brother. Uh, you got yeah. um LMA LMA dropping. If you're into R&B, she dropping her album on Friday. You know, be gorgeous, man. I like her. I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> she had a song. She had a song this summer called "Boot Up." Oh, I heard about that. I never heard the yeah. song though. Yeah, she she coming out on on Friday with her album. Yeah, but that's I don't know about anything else is dropping. The Rock Marcy in the nineteenth. Yeah, that's the yeah, Mugs. Definitely, yo, it's and it's crazy. The Cypress Hill is on tour right now, and Mugs is still dropping albums. That's crazy. Yeah, I can't wait to hear that fucking out. all these fake ass Rock Marcy on fans too. <laughs> Niggas just heard of them. Those are the vans. They don't know nothing about Reloaded or Mossberg or nothing. Mm -hmm. Can't stand niggas like that, man. The UN. What they okay. know about the UN? Facts. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for the mugs and rock record. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know he was a part of flip mode. Nope. That's not first heard him. Yeah. Word. But for niggas not to know about Mossberg and fucking Reloaded, like, that baffles my mind. Yeah. Did you, did you listen to Mossberg yet? Huh? Mox, I got to listen to that, too. There's like a couple of... The Carter Five, Mox, Moxberg, and um, the Vinny Paz, those three I got to listen to. Yeah, Everything for the Carter Five... Yeah. Huh? For the Carter Five, you said they're missing a track, and I sent that to you. Yeah, yeah. I got to check, because I didn't, I didn't see it in my, in my mail, in my email. It was up, I, up broad, number four, right? You said number four? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah I, got, I got the Vinny Paz, but I don't. I didn't uh, see the, um, the Carter joint. I sent that. I sent that. You need it again. I'll send it again, boy. I sent it. Okay. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah. Yep. 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 Great, uh, great music out, man. You know. Oh yeah. And I seen a picture of um Diamond D with Westside like, last night. Same here. That's gonna be interesting. He's on Hitler, he's on, he's on Hitler Six. Yeah. Oh, oh, he did a track for Hitler Six. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's gonna be. I want to hear that. This nigga working with Primo. This nigga working with fucking Elzai and uh, Jesus Christ and legends. He working Tom with. Me. You know what I mean? And you know they're gonna give, they're gonna give him the, his their best shit. Oh yeah. You know. That's I'm kind of disappointed that Kanye ain't dropping that Reject Three anytime soon. Or that kind of well. What's the what's the hold up for it though? I have no idea, man. Wow. I have is no he, idea. Is he still promoting um everybody's food. Yeah. That's probably what it is. You know, maybe by Thanksgiving he'll give it to us. He's give it to us soon. I hope so. Yeah. This nigga said, uh. That. He said, my bad, people. I know it's some of y'all still waiting for food. I'm just getting back to the office today, so I'll be sending everything out all this week. Right. You're still waiting on an item you ordered, or if you have any questions or concerns about your order, contact Conway Machine Shipping at gmail.com with your full name on the order and the order number. And I'll get straightened out immediately again. I apologize, blah, blah, blah. He said, I'm also shutting down the store for a while, and I'm not releasing Reject 3 anytime soon. That's what he said? Oh, I'm, I'm missing um track 15 from the quarter file. 15. Okay. I'll send it. Yeah. And, oh, the, and the, the Husk Kingpin. I didn't, I didn't hear him yet. And it's move. Yeah. To me, fair, nigga, you need to uh, clean up your Dropbox. I know. Be I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to give it to the um the Machiavelli unreleased stuff though. So make so make a new one or no? Yeah, I could do that. I can make a, yeah. another um another another um account. 
Bro, I'm not, I'm not being a dickhead or not. I think yeah. it's easier to do. Right. You know what I mean? They have like fucking 12 emails or like. <laughs> true, true. I can yeah. do that. Yep. Yeah. That's why I'm saying that, Huss, because they got a lot of projects. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Five viewers and niggas ain't really talking. <laughs> I'm gonna end this shit now. You, you just wanna talk some shit on the phone or whatever? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna kill some time. I got a long day, haven't been doing nothing. Right. All right, y'all. I'm glad you enjoyed the. You glad you came on. Shout out to my nigga Swiss. Shout out to Michael C. Brandon. Hey, when I showed up. Tomorrow um, we got the, the game album review. Yeah, documentary too. I ain't writing no fucking notes. Fuck that. I'm tired of doing that shit. <laughs> I, I, li- I like I like to do it to, you know, to the going up. But yeah, but still, sometimes it's like, oh God, I don't want to do this. Yeah. You know, but yeah, I'll, I'll be doing that. I'll be listening to it. You know, you the album or whatever. But uh, yeah, man. See y'all niggas on the flip side. Peace. Yeah, peace.